Well, up here I thought I would give a good look at what my full loop looks like. This is a full 40 meter loop, and it's just a little bit longer than that. Um, sorry, there are a lot of poles and air conditioner units and things up here. People hanging laundry and such. Uh, there's the loop. You can see it going all along there. It's on top of some 4 meter tall PVC poles there on each corner of the building goes up and around and there's a TV aerial by the way which is actually higher than the loop and I believe is grounded against lightning I can only hope but uh, anyway going around the loop then connects up here and you can kind of see where it comes together and I've got a little extra wire wrapped around that top piece there so that's making the loop a little longer as well there are about uh, four turns wrapped around the top of that PVC pipe because I had some extra and I just didn't feel like cutting it. But then the ladder line you can see comes down from there, goes off some standoffs. These standoffs are just paper towel holders by the way, which are screwed into the base of the building. And they needed to be, I found they needed to be at least one foot away from this metal, uh, this uh, copper top metal. If it was shorter, I, I had some uh, toilet paper holders that were about half this height and it uh, would decouple the antenna or decouple the uh, ladder line, I guess is what you would say. But I uh, had that going on. That was a problem. Let me get back into focus here. And uh, this is kind of a, this is an odd contraption I made just for a disconnect for lightning. Uh, if, I, if I have a storm coming, I can just disconnect this and that's what I use that for. Actually, I know it's close to this metal for for a short distance. It doesn't seem to make that much difference because it's a very short run over the metal. However, it does, I think, make a slight difference in my SWR. Um, anyway, I was thinking about, in the wintertime, disconnecting this thing or doing something different because it might be a little lossy, I'm not sure. But then the ladder line just goes down the edge and right now I've got a piece of ugly styrofoam, which the neighbors probably hate but that's kind of standing it off from the middle edge corner of the building. Um, anyway, as long as the ladder line crosses, and this is a toilet paper holder, it's shorter, but as long as it crosses and does not stay over this metal for very long, it seems fine. It seems to do just fine. So anyway, that's my, my loop. Um, that's kind of what it looks like. You can see it running across there again. And uh, these poles are just 4 meter PVC, which I painted an ugly blue that I thought might match the sky, but failed miserably. And uh, as you can see, they're anchored into about 20 kilograms of cement. There's a thicker tube that uh, the smaller tube is anchored into, and that holds it up really well. But I also just uh, kind of used some steel straps and screwed those, cut holes into them and screwed those into the metal. And uh, actually embedded into concrete as well. So that's it. That's the loop. Here's a look at uh, around the area. You can see the nice mountain I have in the background that I fight. There's a nice cell phone tower. Uh, and uh, sorry, this camera just isn't really focusing well. Let me back up and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing next for my next project. I would like to try about halfway down this loop pole, one wire from there to there and make a wire Yagi. And then standing off the correct distance back, which goes down to about this second uh, second uh, towel holder. That's about the length I need back for the reflector wire. So that's about where that's going to go. Anyway, uh, that's what the loop looks like. And um, my neighbor just went down the stairs. <laughs> so that's the loop, uh, and that's what I'm thinking of doing with the Yagi. I, I don't know how well it'll work because it'll be kind of, you know, Few meters down from the building and a few meters from the other wire but it'll be fun to try and see and it's going to be pointed in that direction and that's exactly towards the United States uh, over the pole right there I have a picture showing the different degrees plotted out but um, anyway that's the United States if I go over the pole uh, Japan then is going to be out in this direction I have an excellent signal to Japan it's really incredible um, Europe is going to be what uh, this way somewhere out in this direction and uh, anyway that's a look at the loop and uh, a look at the roof of my house and the buildings that are around it here in Seoul Korea hope you enjoyed it